What's up guys, in this video we are going to be looking at another built in JavaScript object and it's the array. Now before you ask what is an array, let's create uh, a couple variables where it holds the type of food you actually like. Say, uh, let's say, oops, var, uh, my food, or food, equals, I don't know, uh, sushi, I love sushi and var my food to let's make this one equals and what else do I like? Uh, I like noodles var my food three equals I like curry I like spicy curry var my food four equals I also love vegetables so I like Caesar salad Caesar hope that's salad and the list goes on and I've got loads and loads a couple of dozens of list of food I like in my head and I can like create a variable for each of them however that takes a lot of time and there will be a lot of variables you'll be creating so what if there's a way of putting all that value so all the list of the food you like into one variable and and that is an array so the solution to having all these variable is to put all of the values into one variable and you can do that by creating an array now what an array is it's an object that is used to store multiple values into one variable so we could say uh, var my food equals and what we're going to do is create a new array okay so you can say new array and then we can uh, keep on creating oh there's actually three ways of creating an array and there's the regular there's the condense and the literal let's look at the regular way first regular now we say new array and inside the double quotes there won't be nothing and in here let's say my food one, e uh, not the one, sorry, zero, zero, equals sushi, my food, one, equals, what did I say, noodles, did I, my food, two, equals, uh, curry, my food, three, equals, uh, what was I don't know sandwich I like sandwich too like so now what this does is it creates an array called my food and then inside that we are going to have uh, in this case four variables sushi noodles curry and sandwich and you can see that over here we have I wrote uh, the array name every time over here and next to it I've assigned it a value starting from zero because uh, in computer programming you count in general from zero so zero one two three and I'll have four stuff what that does is that you can uh, this is so that you can access uh, your the specific array value uh, a specific value inside your array so let's say I wanted to access noodles and what you could do is say give me uh, the what do you call it the number one in my array and because my food one is noodles it's going to give me noodles okay so the way in which we can access array is say we could just create a variable called uh, food or x it doesn't matter equals and let's say uh, we are going to call my variable or array variable which is my food and then we are going to say uh, inside our what was this block quotes no square quote quotes I had it in my couple videos ago uh, I don't know in this uh, in this what do you call it oh square brackets that's it my square brackets we're going to say if we wanted sushi we're going to say zero if you wanted noodles we're going to say one and so on now I want noodles so I'll say bar food equals my food and inside the square brackets I'm going to say one and let's document dot write document dot write food variable out and what that does is it's going to give me noodles and if you wanted if I wanted curry I could change this to two and 
quickly it's going to change to curry. So this is a really easy and good way in storing various values. Now this is the regular method. Now how long do I have? It's five minutes, it's fine. Now I'm going to show you quickly the other method. So this is method one, which is regular. And the method two is called condensed. Now the reason why it's condensed is because we can put this in a few lines. A few lines, yeah. So var my food equals new array, the new space array. And instead of having uh, nothing inside this bracket, what we're going to have is all the values we, I want to put in inside here. So I'm going to say sushi and then uh, sushi comma then noodles comma and uh, curry comma and sandwich and at the end we are going to have oops I forgot the double quotes at the end there's no comma so let me quickly uh, comment these out like so and then uh, oh, I should have deleted it. Var food equals uh, my food, and then my food, and let's get sandwich out. And document dot write food. Now, if I did everything right, it's going to give me sandwich like so. So that's the second way in which you can uh, get or create an array. And let me comment this out and show you my, the third way. So the third way is generally called literal and we're going to create a variable called my a variable called my cars and instead of having like new array we are just going to have this uh, square brackets and inside here we are going to insert our values sushi noodles oops and curry and sandwich like so. So this is like the most condensed way. There's no even new array inside. And uh, oops, why did I say my car? My food equals and var food equals my food and let's get sushi out. So number zero. Even if I didn't assign uh, zero, one, two, three into condensed and literal, unlike regular, this is going to be zero, one, two, three and this is going to be zero, one, two, three like so so var food equals my food zero and document dot write food and hopefully it'll give me sushi like so so that was a quick video on uh introduction to arrays and the three ways in which we could write arrays and which is let's comment this out so that's it's colorful there we go Yep, the three ways in which we can write our array and uh, how to uh, access our value in our array.